We actually just got back from a family reunion. We weren't really for sure if she was in labor or not. She was panting, but it wasn't like a fast paced pant, like how they do when they're in labor. And that was at 11.30 and Elsie came out to check her at 2.30. And um, our goal is to get it done today. We're probably not gonna go to bed actually until all the bills are moved off of it. All right, everyone, welcome back to another video on Double g &L Farms. Um, we, it's Saturday night. We actually just got back from a family reunion. Uh, it was at uh, Jericho Hills, I think it's what it's called. Yeah. Jericho Hills in Lucas Isle, I believe. Anyways, we had a great time there. What breed of beef cattle did Grandpa Fred have? Brown Swiss? No, Herford. Herford. So we just made it back home, it's 8.30, and one of the milk cows just had a calf. It is so cute, I love its markings. <laughs> So Elsie and Sadie have been having so much fun in Montana. They're really excited. So there's a ranch about an hour and a half from Glacier National. It's called Coleman Limousine. Dad has bought several bulls from him in the past. We absolutely love them. So that was something that was on their bucket list from there in Glacier National was to go get a tour of this Coleman Limousine. So they're really excited about it. They're going to go check cows with him and get to see some more scenery. <laughs> quick update on the puppies so um, when puppies turn two weeks old or about two weeks they start to open their eyes and ears and the teal collar is opening his eyes oh my goodness hi buddy you can just see the little cracks that are starting yay I wasn't able to get one uh, one week old pictures of the puppies, so they're turning two weeks tomorrow. So I'm gonna quick get them two week old pictures of the puppies. So we're gonna use our props for the first time. I'm so excited. So we're gonna have the white shaggy blanket and then I'm gonna swaddle them.
right, everyone. So today is Maggie's due date. And yesterday I got her pin ready. I got the welcome box in her box. Um, I gave her a bath, got her ready, shaved her belly. Anyways, got her ready for birth. Um, last night, Elsie City got home yesterday at five-ish. And so yesterday we were all in here. We weren't really for sure if she was in labor or not. She was panting, but it wasn't like a fast paced pan, like how they do when they're in labor. And um, that was at 11.30 and Elsie came out to check her at 2.30 and she had already had seven puppies. <laughs> so <clears throat> she got right at it as soon as we left. But she has nine now, and we have. she hasn't had one for a while, so we're thinking she's probably done, but we're not 100% sure. So, anyways, we're really excited. She has four girls and five boys. Alrighty, so last year, we little square bailed um, some straw. We loaded it onto a uh, rack and we never unloaded it we just pulled it under um, behind the shop underneath the lean-to and just took bales off of it as we needed them but we're actually getting ready to go little square bell some alfalfa because we are in need of some more that's what we feed like the sheep um the milk cows the horses the goats like we use lots of it we go through a ton so we're gonna unload this rack of little straw bales and we're gonna put them in the loft in the having barn Alrighty, so as you all saw in last week's video, Dad um, was bailing straw right behind the combine. So he finished bailing all the straw and it ended up being 320 big round bales. And that is a lot for us. So I'm gonna quick go down and drown all the bales before Elsie and Sadie start taking them off the field. everyone so I just finished um, grooming a dog and we so I just saw earlier today I droned um, uh, all the straw bales so now we are going to go move them all off that is gonna be a project um, our goal is to get it done today we're probably not gonna go to bed actually until all the bales are moved off of it oh she's been lining them up for a while but I'm gonna go start now now that my dog is finished so we'll see how much I can get on film but Anyways, we're gonna go move some straw bales. <laughs> Here we go. We are finishing up the field, so exciting. So dad's over there in the semi and Elsie's in the bobcat. They're getting the last couple bales. Um, there is a water wing here that dad bailed and there's only four bales on it. So I'm gonna get those two bales to bring them home. And then we have the other hundred right down here. So 
I'll grab the other two bells and bring those home. So, anyways, we finished it field. I didn't get too much of it on film just because I figured it'd be kind of boring just seeing the same thing over and over and over. But, anyways, it's only 7 o'clock, so I think it'd be a pretty good time. But, anyways, we'll, yeah, get these brown bells home. So it is 9.30 at night. Uh, I was just helping Essie and I work with their um, fairy animals. <laughs> Elsie and Sadie just left about 15 minutes ago to um, go start bailing little squirrels of alfalfa. And the reason why we're doing it late is because we want it to be kind of dewy. So that way the leaves don't just all fall off when you bail it and work it. So, that's what we're going to go do. Hopefully, we get done by 10. It's a plan. But, anyways, let's go um, bail little square bills. Dad also is um, bailing big round bills as well because we're not. We're only doing one rack, which will probably be like one or two rows, if that. So, anyways, let's go do it. <laughs> So we just finished um, bailing little square bells of a father for the night. Uh, we are not going to drive it home because it's not safe because it doesn't have any lights on the back. So we're going to wait till morning to bring it home. But dad is still bailing big round bells of alfalfa. So Elsie and Sadie are going to work on hauling those home yet tonight. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. I'm going to run home and start working on chores. Um, we already have done a portion of them. But anyways, so that is what we're doing. Alright everyone, so I am currently grooming a golden retriever. Her name is Remy. She's so cute. So we're just giving her a bath and trimming her up. She already has slobber all over her face again. Anyways, so she's actually my fourth dog to groom today. Um, here is all of the hair I have gotten from the three other dogs. So she is the first dog today that I don't have to shave, which is kind of nice so it won't take quite as long. So we're just going to tr trim her up and make her look pretty. So it's about 10 15 Thursday night um, we have been working on chores but dad has been busy planting um, beans where the rye was so I'm gonna hopefully go drone dad planting some beans where the wheat was So it is uh, 1.30 on Friday and we are back out in the field hauling some more bales and it's Elsie and I today in the hydro beds. We only have one more field to go to after this one. So 
we're almost done. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's not very many bales here, so hopefully it'll go by fast. I have another dog coming at three, so in before long. So, alrighty, here we go. for the night it's 11 30 but we have a really busy day tomorrow um, down at Sycamore because it's 4th of July weekend um, we're doing the petting zoo and food trailer again um, but we got two new animals that we are that we are adding to the petting zoo we're really excited we got them uh, two days ago so stay tuned for next week's video to see what to find out what they are we're really excited it's our first time owning anything of the such so it's gonna be a new learning experience. But anyways, make sure you stay tuned for next week's video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll see you next week.